Hello everyone, welcome back to another Kerbal Space Program episode. Um, if this, the, um, you can't hear the sound of the video because, um, it sounded like a cat being, um, choked to death. Multiple times. But yes, um, you per as you already know, because you know, you clicked on the video, you read the title most likely, and you looked at the thumbnail. I'll be launching a... Um, I'll be make I'll be launching a space station only using SSTOs. Yes. Um, I can't really. We're already at the um, um, almost space or whatever it is. I I had to speed this video up so much because with that, like with just speeding it up normally, it was like thirty minutes. So I literally had to speed. So I had to export the video, then I had to speed it up again. Um, this mission is, a, or the reason why I'm making a space station is because, you know, I wanted to make a space station only using SSTOs. And I wanted a place to refuel SSTOs so I could then go off to Duna. Yeah. Sorry about not posting for a while. Um, yeah, I'm just very lazy. Um... This SSTO class, I guess you could call it, is my cutter class of SST SSTOs. Yeah. Um, I believe it can put up to, um, maybe, I don't know <laughs> really how much. Yeah. Um, I had to cut a lot of the footage out, like landing. I landed on the runway like three times successfully, and only one of the land, one of the landings, <laughs> something exploded. I believe this is the scene, or this is the time I land first. I kept having to pitch up, and I kept having to um, put all the fuel into the forward, forward-most um, fuel tank because it would just flip around, like right around here, just start to flip because of the fuel. Yeah. Um. <laughs> yeah, only like ninety-nine point eight of you guys. Who watches are actually subscribed so if you could fix that and or no wait I mean 1.8 percent of you guys are subscribed and 99.2 percent of you aren't my bad here we are doing the first landing and boom here's the second launch sorry about how fast this is um I had to um speed it up a lot as I just <laughs> yeah I'm not using a script because I don't like writing scripts or scripts, whatever the word is. Yeah, I'm not good with speaking. <laughs> yeah. Um. This was a really fun thing to make. Um. The next video, of the Jewel series, is coming. Or is, well, I I'm doing some editing with it. <laughs> I'm trying. Yeah. Um. Yeah. The SSTO is my favorite one I've made. Um, I um I was rewatching Matt Lounds um uh, what what's it called Matt Lounds Into the Warps uh, movie and I really liked the way his SSTO was so I kind of just made my own version of it. Um, and the doc um you you may be able to tell like where the similarities are with the nuclear engines and or the docking port is. But then I gave my own little spin to it by giving it more, um, Raper engines, because, <laughs> um, I've been able to get this thing to do now. It just can't land at all. Um, the only way I managed to land it without making it explode or was having to land it engines first instead of, like, a plane. Oh, yeah, here we are delivering the fuel. And Mechja was just freaking out there. Hmm. This is so much quicker than it actually than what I was doing. Yeah, I, I almost docked it to the wrong spot. Yeah. So when I tried to land it on Duna, um, I kept having to reload my quick save. So then at one point I just turned, I flipped it around and just landed on the nuclear engines. It it can refuel at Duna, so it could probably go maybe to. Dres possibly I don't know. Um yeah, I'm, I'm 
Yeah, it could it can definitely do mun and minimus. Um, yeah. My Duna version, if I remember correctly, I, I don't really remember correctly. Um, it might have more flaps on it, but I don't really know. But yeah, um, yeah, I'm don't really know what I'm gonna do next with videos. You you guys can recommend it if you want. Here we are, just flying into until oh yeah. Here I sped this footage up. I think yeah. Um, I really hope you guys like this because. I really love making this video or making this craft and then flying it. I probably I may be able to do dress. I I don't know with mining and everything. Um, but yeah. Um, hmm. I know I can definitely do Duna with like, or I can do Duna with like a little spare fuel. Hmm. But I think the best way I would do a Duna mission is just bring a tiny little lander with me or something. Um, oh yeah, here's the next launch. Um, I just completely first talked over it. Um, yeah, I, I think we're launching the antenna portion of it. I don't really remember correctly. Um, but yeah. Um... <coughs> Yeah, the way I think I would do Duna is I had to, I would have had, I, or a new, a different Duna mission would have, like, a lander inside of the cargo SSTL. And then it would land on Duna, come back, and then just ditch the lander. Yeah. The SSTO, um, or, I, I could, I maybe would be able to force it to resin back, but I don't know. Um, well, what, what am I talking about? Dress doesn't exist, my bad. I don't know why the, those things are showing up on the map screen. But I, I remember, like, getting rid of them, but I maybe I forgot. But yeah, um, yeah, I may be able to, or, yeah, I could try to, yeah, I probably won't be able to do two five, never mind. Um, but yeah, um, Okay, yeah, this is the big docking port during. Yeah, I've captured, I managed to capture, like, an asteroid. Um, just, I was just saying if I could, like, get, like, just get close enough with an asteroid and talk to it. And I did, and I had enough fuel to deorbit and get into a, um, orbit around Kerbin or lower it well enough to get it orbit. Yeah. Sorry, I'm just rambling on. I don't really know what to talk about because I'm not using a script. Because scripts are hurt. I hate them. And I don't like writing. So, yeah. Um, or just t doing anything to do with write writing. And, yeah. Here, here was the time, one of the times I forgot to, um, pump the fuel and so just start going crazy. Yeah, with this one, with this SEO, you have to do a lot of stuff just to make, like, you have to do a lot just to make sure it doesn't just nosedive into the ground, because all all the engines are in the back of it. So, yeah, and here I am just trying to, oh yeah, the the little barrel roll or aileron roll or whatever it's called, and here we are with the next launch. I, this is the solar panel one. Um, each of the um. A section each of the crews or sections have RTGs in them, so I, I don't really know why I put solar panels up there. I just did. Um, yeah. Um, it, if you guys watch Matt Lounge into the Warp ser series, you, you could you most likely can tell that um, I took huge inspiration from like his space station he docked to around Kerbin. Yeah. Um. I'm eventually going to do stuff at the station. I just don't know when. Um, at the moment, the station isn't fueled up at all because if it, if I did fuel it up, it would, if the big orange tank was fueled, it would take forever. Yeah, <laughs> I'm trying to experiment with a plane that can fit inside of the Mark inside of the Mark Three um, cargo bay. Um, 
and I've also kind of made a what Matt Lahm like had a thought of for like his Duna, um, Duna whatever series. Um, I forgot forgot what the series is called. Like he wanted a rocket that could then fold out like wings and be turned into a plane. <laughs> I I've tried I've been trying to experiment with folding wings. Yeah. And here we are deorbiting. Sorry about how quick it is. I once again I had to make it just super quick. Yeah, sorry about the lack of uploads. I'm just lazy. And I don't like and I sometimes forget about what to upload. Or just what to that I had to upload and, and stuff. Yeah, thank you whoever subscribed to get the 84. That actually helped a lot. Um, yeah, I, I hope my camera is recording this. Yeah, or my microphone is. Yeah, here we are coming down for, I believe, our second to last thing. Oh, no, wait, no, we have maybe two more. I believe I, I don't know but um, later in this video um I was trying to dock the SSTO to the station to put to put the crew in but the SSTO just ran out of monopropellant like um and we were and I was just like maybe um, a few meters away from the docking port so so I just got all the kerbals out and put them in I eviate all the kerbals and put them inside the station and then the second and the second the final curve will board at the station, the SSDO dock to it. Yeah. Um. <laughs> yeah. And everyone else to talk about. Yay. Well, um, I got a dog. So yeah, that's cool. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry. Um. Yeah, at the moment, we're just doing the maneuvers. <laughs> um. Could try to do an even back mission, or d just for fun. <laughs> that probably won't happen. That would be cool though. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm currently editing all my footage for, or like the two two v things of videos for my for the jewel thing. Oh yeah, here we are docking the. <coughs> here we are docking the docking arms to the station. Yeah, I wanted to launch this at the same time. This is the same time as the um, giant docking port things, but I just couldn't because for some reason it was heavier than, or I think it was just heavier than the big orange tank. I don't really know exactly, but yeah. Um, hope you guys like the SSTO. I may do more SSTL videos. Um. Yeah, we have two more minutes left, I believe. Yeah. Um. The last mission or the last thing is getting the kerbals or putting the kerbals inside. Oh yeah, here's this very NASA approach to moving to changing where the SST plane's going. This is exactly what NASA would do with their space shuttle. Trust, trust me. And here we landed on the, or we were going, oh crap, I forgot to put something. I uh, hear, we were going to land at the one space part with, um, the most, like, so many lakes, it was so weird. Um, yeah. This is still takes about, I think, maybe ten minutes to reach orbit. Or, no, maybe seven or four or five, six minutes, I, I don't really know. But yeah, this is, yeah, this was fun to make. And fly. Um, I'm not the best at flying these because I just finally managed to make make a Mark III cargo SSTO. Well, I've made one before, but that only delivered like a four or like a ten ton thing to orbit. But yeah. Um. Yeah. Um. Throughout this video, MechJub just docked in rendezvous for me because I not I, I can do a little I, I I can kind of teach my I can kind of talk on my own but I, I can't rendezvous for crap oh yeah here it is when this 
when the SSTO just decided, the mech tube just stopped working with, um, with, um, trying to, um, get the two things docked. Mech tube's docking AI, I guess, whatever it's called, just stopped. Yeah, it was so weird. It, it just wasted, like, all of the mono propellant, I guess. Yeah. Um, my plan for the asteroid is maybe attaching, like, attaching a segment to it that, um, allows me to, like, attaching the, a part to it that essentially, oh yeah, here it is, um, just not working. But my plan is to, like, maybe dock a thing to the asteroid that will, like, claw to the asteroid that will then, um, bring that to the station and dock so then. I can have, so then I could just keep mining it. Hmm. Yeah, and here we are at the end of the video. Um, yeah, I hope you guys like this video. Remember to like, subscribe, and I love comments talking like what you like, so I can improve upon this, like improve, improve upon editing and stuff. Yeah. Um. There's there's gonna be subscribing thing video and other video thing yes and most and I believe this is going to come out at sixty frames per second HD I believe yeah on AP sixty frames because I set it to the best <laughs> and it, then it takes like an hour like two like an hour just to export and render and then another hour to render on YouTube and here we are landing. <laughs> um and good